Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite girly tie it shoes and today we're gonna be going over how to use the digital coloring book but this is for the procreate lovers this is for this is for the people that want to be extra like me <laughs> and yeah so you don't have to have procreate for this you can use Photoshop you can use studio uh, clip studio you know you can use whatever you want to do but I'm just gonna give you guys a few tips on how to use procreate especially with this because I feel like I use a lot of tips in my videos so you know I don't want to feel make y'all feel left out right so and if you don't have an iPad you honestly can just print out the digital coloring book and color it in that's very important you, you can literally just print it out and color it in and you don't have to do this but if you want to be like me if you want to be like your favorite girly you know yeah get procreate you won't regret it it's fun you know it's fun to color so first thing that I'm going to do actually let me let me not do anything first thing I'm gonna do right now is I'm putting in so whenever you see the the coloring book you get a transparent PNG I put oh, I should probably start all over all over right because this is procreate let's start from the beginning I know I have a lot of files so you open procreate and it comes up to this page right you press the plus button to add a new screen. I usually use 400, 4,000 by 4,000, 4, but you can use whatever. You can use the square. I'm going to just use the square for now, which is 20, 2048 by 2048. And I'm going to press insert a photo. And I'm going to use one of the PNGs that comes with the, that comes from, no, from <laughs> one of the PNGs that comes from the uh <laughs> let me start over <laughs> I want to use one of the PNGs that comes from the the book and I think I'm gonna use this character I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do this one this one seems like a very popular one that everybody likes right and I'm just gonna give you guys a few tips this right here is where you see your layers we're gonna use this a lot we are going to use this a lot. I use layers a lot. This is where you get your brushes. This is where you have your smudge tool. I don't really use my smudge tool that much, but this is your brushes, your eraser, your layers, and these are your colors. It's very simple. Here is where you're able to choose like the layer that you're on. You're able to move it around. Here's your backspace if you want to go back and re undo something. Right here is where you're able to crop anything that you want to crop. You just got to be creative in the way that you use Procreate. Use the tools that you have, okay? And then right here is where you, you can have like little adjustments, like you want to change the color, gradient map. Oh, you see, you see as I go, you see what I'm using, okay? And then right here, Course, where you go to the ranch area you press you know you this is where you insert the default photo so whenever you open it up you press the wrench and you press insert photo and then that's when you're able to put the photo inside your procreate um or if it's a file insert a file um this is all and then with this part where it says canvas you're able to resize it resize the whole thing actually this is for the whole procreate system like this whole area <laughs> I don't know not explain it here is animation assist page assist drawing guide we're gonna use drawing guide and uh, if you want to share it this is what you use time-lapse replay I use this a lot I'm gonna use this for this video where it, it records all the things that you do on procreate so it records your process so you're able to like save it so I'm gonna probably I'm gonna like export this and slow it down so you guys can like go go along with the um with the tutorial right and then here is preference this is just for like I don't really use this a lot honestly but yeah so first thing first we're going to add a new layer and I'm gonna put the bottom layer I'm gonna put this layer right here of the outline I'm gonna put it on top so the way layers work, it's literally like layers, like what's on top, 
what's at the bottom. If this is on the bottom, I can't mess with what's on top. If that makes sense, okay? I hope that makes sense. Layers are very important. Please understand this right now. Layers make everything work so beautifully and you can do individual things with each layer. So I'm putting this underneath the layer because I'm gonna give you an example. If I draw, if I, if I press my brush right here and I have this blue color on and I just do this, it's underneath, I don't know if you see, it's underneath the blue layer. But if I put this on top, it's on top of the layer. So we want to put it on the, on the bottom so we still have that outline and that nothing messes up with the outline, okay? Let me do that right now. There we go. So I'm going to erase that and start over. <laughs> well, not start over, but yeah. So we're gonna create a new layer and then put the outline on top of the new layer. Now, this is something I like to do because um, it just helps me save time. And it just, you can't do with everything, but it does, like, you, like with this hair, for instance, it's, you can't do it with this hair. But you can do it with like the skin and everything. If you go to the wrench area and you press drawing guide, press drawing guide and then you press edit drawing guide. I like to use this thing called symmetry. So if you press, can you see? If you click on symmetry right here, it'll have it'll have it go, there'll be a line in the middle. Okay. What that means is basically whatever I do on this side happens on this side, which saves a lot of time. As you can see, this hair isn't in the middle. And also the way I drew this, I made the hair like um blocked in so you can actually change the hair color with the outline layer um and i hope that does, wasn't too confusing for y'all so first thing i'm gonna do is color in the skin um i'm gonna do this like oh let's 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 keep it cash let's keep it cash okay <laughs> i'm gonna go on classic um, i think i'm gonna do more tutorials in the like later on but we're just gonna do very very simple today and i'm just gonna choose one of like i have a lot of colors but already saved in palette that I have on palette, but we can manually change it right here and then choose a color. Something like a skin color is nice. Let's do like this color right here. I think that's cute. Okay, I'm gonna use the syrup. Um, this is part of my saves file. But if you go to um, Inkin, you should find syrup. There's other pens that you can also use. I like to use syrup just because um, it's it doesn't it lets me fill in, which I'm gonna show you later. Like actually, like right now, I'm gonna show it to you. So what you wanna do? This is why I like. Oh, oh, also right here, this controls the size of your brush. This can. This controls the size of your brush. This controls the opacity of your brush, okay? So I'm putting the opacity at one. If I wanted it to be like less, I can do that, you know. But I wanna put it at 100 right now, and then I'm gonna make the size a little bit smaller, okay? So like, just a little bit smaller. And then when you have the symmetry, you're able to do this. You're able to do things at the same time. Look. And the thing with symmetry, you have to make sure it like closes. Make sure it closes, okay? I mean, you don't have to, but because of what I want to do next, I'm going to make sure everything is closed, okay? So you see right here, and I connect it. So it's a closed, closed form, okay? Now, this is a good trick to use if you want to fill something in. So if you have an outline, we made an outline, and we're just going to fill this in. So the way I did it was like I held on to it and I you hold on and you drag. You see that? You drag and then you just boop. Okay, that doesn't look as good as I want it to. <laughs> Let me do that again. Okay. So you have this. You just create an outline of what you want to fill in. Because I have the stars, I don't want the stars to be filled in right now. So I'm just going to create an outline blocking the stars from being filled in. By the way, you don't have to do this, but this is the tools that I use. They just help me, you know, make my drawings a little bit faster. 
and it's just fun so I'm gonna do that to like the neck area also because the skin is also showing and also if you want to just if you want to be fun if you want to be cute like you don't gotta you don't have to follow the rules like it doesn't have to be she could have a dark neck <laughs> I don't know it could be a different color so here we go I'm just gonna do this and, I, and by the way I'm still all underneath one layer and I like to this is what I like to do I like to put different things in different layers so if I'm gonna do the skin I like to put the skin in one layer and then put like the hair coloring in one another layer so that I can be able to edit them individually later on that just helps me out because I, I know I change my mind a lot and I always want to like change stuff so you see I outlined it and I also outlined the the uh, the bikini because I didn't want the bikini to be colored in so now I drop it in you see isn't that so cute that is so cute let me fix this lip right here so I'm gonna give you guys another trick you know what you know what you know what let's go to another layer let's go to another layer and then I'm gonna teach you guys another trick okay so let's do another layer and this layer we're going to use for the bra click on I forgot to tell you guys actually this is very important Whenever you do your join assist, okay, and you wanna do it again on another layer, you click on the layer and it'll come up with a bunch of menus. And then you have to press join assist again on that specific layer. It won't just automatically do it, so you gotta click on the layer and press join assist again so that layer two also has it. But once you turn it on, sometimes whenever you, you know, if you try to do it without turning it on here first, right here first it won't let you so you have to do it here first and at least one layer right here has to have join assist for you to be able to put it on other layers so let's um change the color of the bikini i think she's feeling blue i'm giving her like a tropical vibe so i'm just going to fill this in because this is on top it's still able to you know do that so I can actually, if I wanted to, I can put this underneath that so so I don't have, you know, messes or anything. You don't have to do this. But you, I mean, but you, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. But this is, this is the thing. Like, it's still there. What I just did is still there, but you can't see it because the skin layer is on top. It's going to go back and we're just going to do that. Okay, and boom. Now here is where you see a problem right here. Let me go to the the skin layer and I'll just erase that right here. Just erase that. Okay, okay. This is this is doing good. Are you guys understanding what I'm saying? I hope this is like helping y'all. Okay. Cool. Now we have the bra done, we have the skin done. The skin looks a little bit too like yellow or greenish to me, am I tripping? Let me, I kinda wanna edit it. So I'm gonna go here to saturation hue and saturation and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna edit it a little bit. Like I want it to be like less green. Oops. Maybe a little darker. she looks red <laughs> okay I like that she's like a red tone dark baby dark skin babe now I want to edit this this is this is really important okay so now we have the outline layer we have the skin layer and we have the bikini area I want to edit the bikini and I want to put like some designs in there so I'm gonna press the plus button and I'm gonna click on it, press drawing assist, and then I'm gonna click on it again, and I'll press clipping mask. So now what this does is, if I wanna draw something on the bikini, it will only show up on the bikini. So, if I do this, a better example for me to show you how it works is like this. So, let's say the bikini was on top, right? 
you know, this looks rough, right? Because we put it on, at the bottom layer. It's on top. If I put this clipping mask right here and I press the drawing assist, it still won't go on, it won't go on the skin because the way I have it is anything that's clipped onto it, the layer is clipped onto it, it only goes onto the color in that layer. So I'm gonna put the, the skin right back on there. There we go. <laughs> See, it's right, let me undo that. Okay, so we have that. I actually really like what I did, so I'm gonna just do that again. Like I like the fact that it was just like scribbles. Like, boom. It's a look, it's a freaking vibe. It's a vibe all the time. It's a vibe all the time. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. Okay, <laughs> let me stop. This is cute, this is cute. I'll totally wear this bikini. This is like so adorable, right? So if I wanna be extra, I just wanna, like, I like to try stuff out, right? Let me click on this, let me see. If I press invert, it's gonna turn it to white. It's gonna turn it the opposite of black, right? I don't like that as much. Let me go back. I like the black. I'm just going to leave it like that, okay? Let's do the color. The color, the color, the color. I think I'm going to keep it with the theme of the... I'm doing the drawing assist again. I'm going to keep it the theme of the bikini. And by the way, I don't... You do drawing assist when you need to. Like, it's not like a by force thing, but shit, it does help. Just gonna clean it up a little bit. Put the black on here. I think I'm gonna put the black on a different layer. Yeah, I'm gonna put the black on a different layer. Okay. Add some white, add some white to it, and just, and I like to keep like similar colors on one layer also, just to like, I don't know, it just helps me out a little bit. So because I'm adding, I don't think I'm, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna change the, the color of the spikes. Like I know I'm not gonna change it. So I'm gonna put the black and white layers all in one layer, just cause I know I'm not gonna change the black. I'm not gonna change the black on the spikes. You know, and I need to make this eyes white. The thing is, the eyes right now, they might look like they're white, but they're not because they're just a background color. What? Can you believe that? Oh, see? I didn't even see that was there. Delete. Let's erase that. Okay. I hope I'm not going too fast. <laughs> so now you have, you're going to have this right here. And I'm just going to outline the eyes and fill it in. Right? And I'm gonna put the eye color in another layer because I don't know, I might change my eye. I might change my mind on what color I wanna make the eyes. And I'm not gonna do drawing assist because I might wanna change the eyes to two different colors. So I might wanna do two different colors. I don't know. Why not, right? Let's do green. You ain't gotta be perfect all the time, by the way. Look how cute that is already. Like, you can't tell me nothing. That is so cute. Okay, so now we have that. Oh, also, we should also put this white right here with the black and white, like I said. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. It's so cute already. Now, you know how we did the clipping mask for the bikini? I want to do a clipping mask for the skin color. So I'm gonna add, I'm going to go to the skin color area, which is right here, and I'm gonna add another layer on top of it, and I'm gonna press clip in mask on top of that right there too. And we're gonna do drawing assist also. I'm gonna change my brush to a, a spray paint brush, something light, something like not too harsh, with no harsh edges. And let me use this right here. Oh, another thing, if you want to pick up color, you click on it, you long press on it. So if you want to pick up this color, it'll change right there. 
But I'm going to pick up the color of the skin. And I'm just going to turn it to like a little bit. I want it to be like a little orangey. Like a little orange blush. Let me change the background color. Sometimes background colors also help me think. I don't know why. Like, I change my background colors often because I need to see what I'm doing. And sometimes the background color helps me decide what kind of colors I need to use. You know what I mean? So, now that I have a clipping mask on top of the... I'm on the clipping mask layer on top of the skin. I'm going to... And it's on assisted. I'm just going to do the blush right here. And the reason why I did the spray paint was because it's not a harsh brush. It's not like a line. It's just a spray paint, right? I'm going to do it like on a few... I'm doing the... <laughs> I saw somebody on Twitter. They were like... I don't like when I don't like when artists put blush on the shoulders and the boobs. And I'm like, I put I put blush on my shoulders and boobs. If I'm gonna go to the beach, I wanna look sun kissed. I don't know. I put highlighter on my shoulders and my collarbone. Like, why not? <laughs> like, the fuck? Why not? Okay, so still on the same layer. I'm just gonna go and um you know, I'm just gonna do this. I wanna do a dark color because I wanna do like a contour color. And with this, I'm gonna go back to the syrup that I did before. I'm just gonna outline it. This is still on the clipping mask, see? It doesn't do anything. It just stays on the brown. This is clipped mask on the uh, skin layer. So I just wanna like outline it. I mean, you know, draw some shadows. Draw some shadows right here. Some shadows right here, underneath. Shadows right there. Ooh, I don't even wanna do shadows like that. Maybe I might do, I might do like, mm, but I kinda like it with the shadow. She looks more natural. With the shadow i was like maybe i might do like i don't know like a freaking eyeshadow right here that was that's cute that's so cute <laughs> no i don't i think i'm gonna keep that eyeshadow but i want to do the eyeshadow on a different layer so i'm just gonna do that real quickly trying to assist just because what if i what if i want to change the eyeshadow color i don't know i might want to change it <laughs> we're gonna change colors later you're gonna see I like to experiment, but I'm gonna like maybe do it like this. Like that. No, I kind of like how it was like a cut crease. And even with this, with this eyeshadow, I can even do a, a clipping mask on the eyeshadow and like add like green to the edges or something. If I wanna be like, let me show you real quick. I wanna do this clipping mask on that. Let me do a drawing assist too. If I wanna just add the green I could do that like I could do that but I'm not gonna do that I feel like that's too extra right now like she looks like a lot <laughs> she looks like she'll get you in trouble anyways so now I'm going back to the I went back to the the clipping mask layer and I'm just gonna do that just put wet shadows where shadows are supposed to be at like that just gonna put it on her arms area it's very simple it's not really like uh it's not really like a hard hard drawing to do okay there we go and I can even change this. I can change the colors of this. I can make it more brighter, darker. Like, I can just change the whole color spectrum. Like, what? See, the thing is, I should have separated the, the blush, the blush and the shadows. Because I could have changed the shadow color by itself. But because I didn't add it on another layer, it's like I can only edit. I can't edit it like I would want to. 
So that's why I'm always saying, you know, put your stuff in layers because I don't know, it just helps a lot. Um, last thing we're gonna do is the lips. I, think she, I want her to have like a bright pink lip. I literally, from this, all I did was do the pink. That's your tutorial, guys. 